So sad, mm -hmm. so sad to see. It is 5.15 on this New Year's Eve, Eve, Matt. Yes. <laughs> New Year's yeah, Eve, we're, Eve. We're dealing with some wet weather this morning. Yeah, we are. It's a little bit damp <laughs> out there. It's a little bit dreary. We saw the rain start to pick up yesterday afternoon. And now as we push into our Monday morning, it looks like it's going to continue. And we'll even watch for these rain showers to probably persist throughout our afternoon hours today here in the city. And then they'll start to taper off as we get a little bit later on this evening and then into the overnight tonight. We really start to dry it out. New Year's Eve itself and New Year's Day looking pretty good. We'll show you the seven day forecast here in just a second. And you'll see what we can expect for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Right now, though, again, heaviest rain kind of off to our north. We were watching some pockets of heavier downpours down across South Jersey just about a, maybe a 45 minutes to an hour or so ago. But again, right now, Generally dry conditions with maybe just a little bit of drizzle out there. Front though still well off to our west. Some heavier rain now coming into western Pennsylvania. Let's take a look at future weather. Jumping ahead from this morning into about the lunchtime hour. Still again looking at those showers across the region. And you see here up in the Poconos and a little bit even further north towards the Scranton Wilkesbury area as well. You're getting a little bit of pink to pop up there in our future weather. And that's because temperatures in the Poconos, especially in those higher elevations, are going to be hovering just around the freezing mark pretty much all day long. So while the vast majority of us see just plain rain, those areas again in areas like Carbon and Monroe County could have a little bit of freezing rain mixing in, leading to some slick travel in those areas later this afternoon. By five o'clock, though, pretty much the entire region is looking dry overnight tonight. It's partly cloudy waking up on Tuesday morning. Yes, it'll be damp, but we'll probably see a little bit of sunshine mixing with the cloud cover early on New Year's Eve by five o'clock. Still looking nice and quiet out there. But then as you look to our north in the evening hours, a little bit of wraparound moisture could allow for maybe a couple of of us snowflakes to start to fly on Tuesday night. That would again just be held off well to our north in the areas of the Poconos. Just about a half an inch or so has fallen here with rain in the Philadelphia area so far, but through tomorrow morning we could look for maybe another half inch to maybe even close to uh, an inch of rain in a few spots. Winter weather advisory is still in effect until four o'clock this afternoon. Again, across the Pocono Mountains because we have that threat for that freezing rain could lead to some slick travel in those areas. 56 degrees, our eventual high temperature here in the city, a little bit more seasonable for us by New Year's Day itself. Sunshine there, a high of 43. Chandler, look to the weekend though. Friday, Saturday, so it looks like the 50s return back to the forecast. Not looking too bad. No, it's not. Is it really winter, Matt? We have a lot of 50s yeah, in that I, forecast. It is. Don't worry, we'll pay for it in March. Yeah, you know? we definitely will. <laughs> You're not lying there. But 